What is going on everybody? We got a video today that's a little bit different than normal, uh, but we're gonna be working on the Shelby as well as the trailer real quick because we picked up some uh, solar panel trickle chargers and we're just gonna kind of do a quick review and install. There really shouldn't be much to it. So as you just saw, here's the two that we got. I got two of them because one's gonna go on the Shelby and the reason I'm putting one on this, I don't drive it that much yet um, and I did have to put a battery in it and nowadays batteries are so freaking expensive. That was like a $180 battery, I think. I could be off a little bit, but batteries are getting expensive. And then my trailer on the other side of the building, um, I have an RV battery. So when I'm at the track, I can charge my computer, my cell phone, stuff like that. But that kind of does the same thing. It just, you know, just trickles down over time. This new shop, I don't have a plug quite close enough. You can see the extension cord in there. Um, plus just having to run like a plug outside to your trailer or to your cars. I don't know, it's a little bit of a pain. Um, so these make it nice and easy. If, it, if the cigarette lighter works, you can just plug it into the cigarette lighter, great. Um, a lot of new cars, modern cars. Now I tested this one. I'll show you how we did it real quick. All right, so they come with these little cigarette lighter uh, chargers that plug in. I just got the leads to it and you can see we're at, you know, there it goes, 12.3. So it is reading battery voltage and I think it's because I was just in here a few minutes ago on. I checked it when I very first opened the car and I guess there's some sort of timeout thing. In case you have whatever plugged into the cigarette lighter, it works for at least a couple minutes after shutting down the car. Um, but I'm almost positive they don't work in this. All right, and just so you know, I'm not lying to you, you can see we got good contact. The car has been sitting for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or so, and you can see 0.005 of a volt. So that's why we couldn't use the cigarette lighter, which would be nice, because everything would then just be inside the car. All right, so what we're gonna do now is kind of the same thing. Let's just put the leads in there. This is the little one. And you can see we're getting 16, oops, let's get my head out of the way, 16.24 volts out of the little one. And then the big one, 20.6. So real nice sunny day. You can see they're putting out a voltage uh, a little bit higher than battery voltage and like I mentioned earlier they're meant to just be like trickle chargers not really like run anything. Um, so yeah we're gonna hook it up to the battery and that'll be it for the Shelby. Alright so the trailer is gonna be easy. I'm just gonna leave this on the tongue of the trailer when the trailer like sits here not in use. There's actually a little hole underneath where wires already pass through. So the end of this, fortunately, is pretty small. We're gonna pass that through and just hook it up to the battery. All right, so there's the hole. Here's the connection. I could do it two ways. Uh, looks like I don't have enough. So way one is use the alligator clamps right to the RV battery right here, which is what I'm gonna have to do. Um, and again, the cigarette lighter. The electrical on this is just the battery it comes up to this wire and comes up to this like USB and cigarette lighter bank and that's about it. So we're gonna make that connection, uh, double check it and it for the trailer. So I got, so this one actually has a little volt thing built into it. I can turn it off. But as you can see, we're at 10 volts. So this trailer has been sitting for a little bit with a tiny bit of draw on it. All right, so we're just double checking it before we put it on. Still got that same 20-ish volts. Right. I'm not expecting much of a change so yeah we're still at 10 volts and the reason we're still at those 10 volts is it's such a large battery the amperage from that tiny solar panel again trickle charging that battery so what we're gonna do is come back in a couple hours and just kind of see what this ends up reading um, you know, if I had this thing hooked up for the last month, I would have a nice full battery. It wouldn't have gotten this low. But that's about it for this one. We'll double check the, uh, you know, the charge rate in a little bit. All right, so it's only been about a half hour in real world time. And you can see we're already at 10 too. 
So, you know, we know it's doing something. Um, it, at this rate, it'll probably take a few days to get to full charge, but now that I have it and it's gonna live on it, it won't ever just come down from that full charge. All right, so you can see the solar panel sitting there. My plan, when I start driving this thing more, so you can see it just fits into the glove box. There you go, close it up so I can drive around. It's not flying all over the place. Um, and then if the car is gonna be sitting a while, there we go. So we are going to check it real quick. 16.95, how I have it ran. It should clear the hood. The, uh, the battery tray cover, we're just leaving off. Um, I think the last thing I'm gonna do is try and tuck this wire up and in. All right, so I tucked it up and under this little bit of weather stripping. Got enough slack to put that wherever I need. And there we go, that's about it. So I mean, two different uh, solar chargers. They both kind of do what they advertise, so you know, should help uh, prevent draining and killing expensive batteries. I'll put a link to both of them in the video description below if you want to uh, pick one up. So, you know, a little easy project for us today. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.